Hello, boys and girls. I'm Perlo Wisdom, and you're listening to Perlo Wisdom's Bee Pow Picks. Now, I'm just going to go on the fly. This is on the fly. I'm going to go over to, today is the 28th. See, I, all the naps sometimes, I don't know what day it is. 14 naps a day, by the way. That's what I recommend. That's how I get, this is how you get this, this right here. This 14 naps a day. See? Works. Um, 28th. Second last day of the regular season. We're going to look at all the picks in the land for you. And we're going to do it on the fly. I This is kind of how I... Ha uh, one way I kind of hash out what my picks are going to be. If you like this sort of thing, if you would like my full picks when I've gone through all the data and, you know, did all the mathematics, divided everything by pi and all that, then you want to go to bpowpicks.com um, comment in the comment section. I'll give you a link. Make sure you are, uh, I have a telegram app. I'll send you a link and you can go there for free for a while. I got some new stuff coming up too for that. You're going to have a baseball channel. You got all the picks channel, a baseball channel, a basketball channel, and a premium channel coming up for you. So sub up for the love of God. You don't want to miss it. Now. Yes, now. There you go. Okay. All right, let's go. Let's look at all the picks in the land today. First one. All right, this is Boston versus Buffalo. I mean, this is this time of year it's difficult to uh project what's going to happen. Buffalo's on a heater right now. They've won like four in a row. So has Boston. Uh, take a look at it here. Buffalo has won four in a row. Uh, Boston has won three in a row. Sorry, and they've won six of their last five. Now, Boston has going. Uh, no, that's not what I'm looking for. Boston has who has the most rest? Uh, Boston's going to be playing Toronto tomorrow, so it could be an overlook. This is at boss. This is at home. Overlook means that you know you got to play Buffalo, but you're playing Toronto. That's going to be huge for them. That's going to be a statement game for them as well. It's possible they could eventually play Toronto in the playoffs. So they may not be taking Buffalo as serious as you would want them to take them here. Uh, Buffalo has rest. They won a lot in a row. They've had rest. And now they're playing in Boston. Buffalo's going to be up for this game. The one thing, there's two things I don't like about taking Buffalo here. Uh, one of them is this stuff right here. Dustin Tokarski. Look at those gaudy numbers. 3.25 and a 9.01. Linus Allmark has been playing very well. Funny, they're playing Linus Allmark tonight. And then they're going to play the kid. Tomorrow against Toronto, which is kind of a slap in the face to the Leafs to basically say we're going to play Swayman, our backup against your whoever you're going to play tomorrow. Um, and it also kind of gives me an indication they really want to win this game. I am so on the fence about this game. I think that the play is Buffalo plus one and a half. I really think Boston would love to get. You're getting what? See, plus you're getting almost you're getting plus money on taking Buffalo. That's that's the value play for sure. Buffalo plus one and a half, just to keep it close at least. And heck, they could even win it. I I know that a lot of people out there are going to be on Buffalo here. I'm just I don't like to. I'm not going to be putting much on it because it's Tukarski is in net. Now, as far as the total is concerned, six. Oh, it's got to be over, 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 over. With Tukarski in net, if Buffalo wins, they're going to have to score at least three goals. And Boston on Tukarski, you know, it could be 3-2, but I don't – Boston. if Boston wins, they're probably going to shut down Buffalo and get a couple, and that will be under. But if you're thinking Buffalo is going to win this, 
it's almost surely going to be over six. I'm going to lean the over, especially at 195. Buffalo has been scoring like crazy. They've scored five goals in their last four games. Now, that was not against the best competition in the world, right? Uh, New York Islanders, New Jersey, Philly, Philly, right? That's the thing. That's the thing right there. And then, and, and against Toronto, they scored five. But St. Louis, they could only pot two. They got crushed by Tampa. They pot three against Carolina. And they beat, yeah, so they're scoring. Um, the thing is, is Boston has only allowed three. Against Montreal, they allowed three. Florida, they, they shut down Florida for two. The Rangers won. Uh, so Boston can shut them down here. They can shut them down. If they can shut down Florida, they can certainly shut down Buffalo. I think it's going to be a screamer in the first period. Buffalo is going to come out like crazy. Um, and, uh, if, if it's might be an in game in game, but I'm going to lean over six. I'm just going to lean over six because if Boston wins, it's, there's a, oh man. Yeah. Over six. That's it. I'm done. <laughs> These are tough right now. Uh, Carolina, New Jersey. Um, I know Carolina doesn't have anything to play for and New Jersey did kind of bring it a lot better against Ottawa. Their last game, uh, after a debacle against Detroit, they did score four against Ottawa. Against Forsberg, too, who's a pretty good player. But the Ottawa's got a terrible defense. Last time these two played wasn't too long ago, and New Jersey lost to Carolina 3-2. Uh, Carolina has been playing to the over the last two games. I really can't take anybody but Carolina here. I, I just I know that they don't need to win this game, but Carolina at home... 28-8-4. And, and Jersey is 11-25-4 away on the road. I know they want to finish off the season strong, but Carolina hates losing at home. They hate it. They just, it doesn't, I don't think it matters that there's not much time left in the season and they don't have much to play for. That's going to be what they play for. So, I'm going to I'm going to take New Jersey. I'm going to take Carolina here. I I don't think I like the juice. Ah, in regulation. Carolina in regulation. And uh you know, New Jersey will pro probably cop, cop pot a couple, but I think Carolina is going to play a defensive game. That's the thing. I think Boston will too. They they they're, they're ge gearing up for the playoffs here. That's my lean. I would actually probably go under six and a half. Carolina wins like 4-1, 3-1, something like that. Um, and if they get up early, they, they're going to want to shut it down. So I'm going to go the under. Uh, Ottawa, Florida. I mean, that's a, this is going to be a 7 on the total for sure. Um, this one is tough because Ottawa is going to always play hard. All, Ottawa will always play hard against whoever they're playing. It doesn't matter. They're at home. They're going to want to win this game. The fact is that Florida is just so good. Can it be over a seven? Um, they're, Ottawa's putting Gustafson in that too. I, I think you got to go over here. Um, Florida may want to try to play a defensive game. And I've been saying all along, I'm not sure that Florida has the capability of playing a shutdown game. Uh, that, that, but If Florida doesn't take this game seriously, though, they could lose this game. They're 13-2 and two in their last 13 games. Uh, Florida's lost their last two. And one, a, against Boston, uh, they got shut down, like we just talked about. And Tampa Bay, they couldn't outscore them. But they weren't, they weren't playing balls out hockey and the, and if they don't do it against Ottawa I don't know if I really like this game New, Ottawa beat New Jersey Montreal Columbus they've been beating bottom feeders and now they're going up against Florida on the road I, I'm just not sure Florida will be up for the fight 
I think it's possible you got a good dog pick here in Ottawa. Uh, also, they're putting the kid in Florida, but it's Gustafson. I'm going to say over seven, and for the heck of it, take Ottawa plus one and a half. Ottawa plus one and a half is still going to give you some pretty good juice. Let's see. Uh, oops, sorry, spread. What do you get? 180 on Ottawa plus one and a half. That's probably what I'm going to do. Uh, Tampa Bay versus Columbus. I, I think Tampa Bay, they, they've been taking it easy. Uh, they, they thrashed Columbus last time. I don't think that changes here. Um, it's a little tougher on the road. I think the most I would do is do, is do, is play it in reg. Um, they are going to play Elliot though. Total six and a half. The hard part about this time of season is, is Tampa Bay going to try to shut down Columbus? Uh, I believe this is a home and home uh, too, right? Tampa Bay just beat Columbus at home. And Columbus has like nobody in the lineup. Uh, yeah, they lost four to one. See, it was under. Now they're going to be on the road. Columbus is going to have a little more of an advantage to score. And Elliott's going to be in net. Um Look at how much they've been scoring. Eight, six, eight, four. Let's go the over here, even though it's six and a half. Tampa Bay hasn't been letting down, letting up as far as scoring is concerned. That probably won't change here. Columbus being at home will have a little more of a chance to pot a couple as well against Elliott. Uh, so let's go the let's go the over. And I'm going to take Tampa Bay in regulation. Um, Washington versus the Islanders. Probably the Islanders, I guess. I, I don't know if I... I mean, if you're going to play it, you might as well take the dog at home, even though the Islanders just beat the Capitals. And they should want to come back and win this game. But I'm in, I, I'd take the Islanders just because just they're at home. It's a plus money play. Sorokin is supposed to be in net against Vanacek. I go with the Islanders. As far as the over under is concerned, um, Islanders have been playing a ton of. I think the last. Let's go here. That what's one thing you can do here? They just played again. This is like a home and home too. Uh, it was an under the last time. No Ovechkin for Washington. And uh, look at, besides that game against Washington where they kept it to the under, it's been over, 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 over every game. The thing is, is what's Sorokin going to be like in this spot? I'm going to lean the over. Usually that's the way it is. If it's a home and home, if the first one was un under, the next one is over. Same as the previous game, actually. Uh Calgary, Minnesota. I've been riding Calgary every single game. Um, I think uh, Tal think Talbot's going to be in net. Calgary should have Markstrom in net. Um, these these guys have been playing over all the time. It doesn't matter what the situation is. It seems they're they're playing over all the time. Six of their last eight games. Minnesota now is at home, and they lost the last one against Calgary, I believe. I thought it wasn't too long ago, but I guess it was. I, I think they lost the last one against Calgary. Um, Minnesota's got more to play for, but they had more to play for against – oh, yeah, and they did win against Nashville. That's right. Now, let's see what – Minnesota was just on a road trip, too. How long has Calgary been on the road for? Oh, and they got Winnipeg after this as well. They want this win. They want this win against Minnesota. They're putting Markstrom in for this one. Uh, it's important. It's gonna. They're both going to be in the playoffs. So they, both teams are going to want to send a message here to the other. Um 
No, Minnesota was home. Oh, yeah, that's right. That terrible loss against Arizona. Yeah, you know what? I'll take Minnesota here. I'll take Minnesota. Uh, I think you're get, I think you're getting plus money on it. Are you getting plus money in Minnesota at home? No, yeah, almost. I'll take Minnesota just that because that after that terrible loss, they're going to be coming out balls out in this game. Problem is Calgary. It doesn't seem to matter the spot. They're going to give you a full effort. Maybe a draw. This wouldn't be a bad draw, I think. Colorado versus Nashville. Colorado, okay, here's the thing about this game. If Colorado wins this game, they're going to play Nashville in the playoffs. If, they, if Nashville wins, Nashville will play Calgary in the playoffs. Um, so for me, okay, this is my lean here. I don't know if it's going to be right, but this is my lean. You have an opportunity to be, have, put a beat down on a team that you're going to play in the playoffs if you beat them, right? Now, Colorado will play Dallas if, instead of Nashville if they lose this, this game. Honestly, I'd rather play Dallas if I was Colorado. So are they going to go full bore here? Like if Nashville comes out fighting, is Colorado going to be like, all right, we don't want to. I my my I think that they think that they can play beat both, and not only that, Riddich is going to be in, and they're and Colorado's putting Kemper in, there against uh, Nashville here, so that tells me that they want to win this game, and with Riddich in, I got to go with Colorado. I'm going to go Colorado and Red. Colorado can maybe not play the strongest game in the world, and with Riddich in, still win the game. But my leaning is that they, if they have an opportunity to put a beat down on, an, on, a, on a team and then be able to play them, they're going to take that opportunity, and Colorado will win that game. Edmonton versus San Jose um, with Corpus Allo in that. I, I honestly wouldn't touch this game. Over. Go, go over for the heck of it. Corpus Allo is just crap down the stretch here. Um, San Jose, I don't, it has, it doesn't say who's going to be in net here. I do believe it's going to be Reimer though. Probably. Oh no, it's saying Kakinen. If Kakinen and Koskinen are going to be in net, you might as well go the over, even if it's a six and a half. Um, the only thing is here, I don't know how much, you, how much oomph both of these teams are going to have. It's all, like the season's almost over. How much are they going to want it? Are they going to go balls out here? I think there's a very good chance they don't. In which case then, it may be the under. I, I really wouldn't touch this game. San Jose, if they want, San Jose wants will want to finish the season strong. They just lost against a rival in the Anaheim Ducks, which was brutal. So the question is, are they going to get back on their feet again and go, okay, you know what, we're still, we got to still prove that we're good here against Edmonton? Or did that just take the wind out of their sails? And that'll be it. Um, and for Edmonton, they don't have much to play for. However, it's been a rough year. And I just think that, yeah, I'm going to take Edmonton in regulation. I just think it's been a rough year. They, they almost didn't make the playoffs. They got the ball rolling here pretty good. They beat Pittsburgh. They, you know, they're feeling good about themselves. Um, after they lost to the Columbus Blue Jackets, I don't think they want another bad taste in their mouth here. Um, they're going to play hard. I'll take Edmonton in regulation because you'll have to. Otherwise, the juice is too bad. Uh, Vancouver versus the LA Kings. LA Kings on a back-to-back -back with Peterson. I'm going to go Vancouver here. This is one place where I just think Calgary may not be able to get the oomph going. And Vancouver is going to want to end strong. Um, that Spencer Martin, this Spencer Martin kid's pretty good. And I think they want to play for him too. Um, Spencer Martin's probably going to be their backup next year. So giving him as much confidence as possible going into next season is probably going to be some value to them. Not to mention Bruce Boudreaux. He knows the things to say to get teams to win in bad spots. So I'm going to take Vancouver, and I'm going to go. 
Uh, let's take a look here. Vancouver, I would probably only go money line on that. You, you're eating a little bit of juice. But six. Yeah, I think I, I think I'd lean the over. I'd lean the over. All right. So that's the sort of thing I do over at bpowpicks.com. Come check me out, man. Love to have you. Uh, we, like I said, it's not just hockey. We're going to have ball. Uh, basketball's rocking. Ball season's coming up. I'm going to be doing a lot of MMA. Uh, everything you can imagine. We do soccer picks. Everything. And uh, you're going to want to be there for the start of the regular season next year while we do futures and all that kind of stuff like that. Uh, so go get down there in the comment section. Say, I would like free picks or I'd like a free trial and uh, I'll set you up. Have a great day, everybody. That's my full 42. Okay, bye.